But this is the safest, most cost-effective way to make lighting. But anyone can come and recharge their phone. You can go to the bathroom too. Hello and welcome to Ukraine in Flames, a special project by Ukraine Media Center and NGO Euro-Atlantic Course. I'm your host, Maria Romanenko. This is the sound to Ukraine's public life these days. Generators operating day and night across different parts of the country. This particular video is from the central Ukrainian city of Dnipro. Nearly half of Ukraine's critical energy infrastructure has been partially or fully destroyed by Russia. About 35 million people try to carry on living in those conditions. How do they do it? If you want to find out, please continue watching this video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our videos in the future. Tatiana Kanyuka is the manager of the Italian restaurant Trattoria No. 5, located in the center of Kiev. This is what the restaurant looked like when we spoke with Tatiana. Now she will explain how they act in case of a power cut. Я думаю, что 
нас це вийде, Україна не славна. І все будемо робити, я думаю, що ніякої паніки, ніякої хаосу, для того, щоб ви далі розвивати і слідти ради нашого майбутнього. Antonina Mazhava is the owner of a lingerie shop in Dnipro, central Ukraine. Her son invented a safe way to light up the shop during blackouts. Let's hear more about it. Thanks to my son, you see how light it is here, even when electricity was turned off everywhere again today. Our staff was already here at 9.40 am. Yes, there was still an air raid siren then, and our shopping center is closed at this time. But everyone hopes that it's about to stop, and we should be ready for people to come and buy or try something on. We're not allowed a generator. First of all, it's the fourth floor, and secondly, it's a room, so we're inside. Now we have three 12-volt batteries that are connected in one circuit, so that it's convenient to charge it. And my son brings a string of batteries every morning. He charges them at night and plugs it in in the morning. So it's his job now to bring batteries, plug them in, and take them out in the morning and in the evening. It's all safe. There's an LED strip, so it's light in all zones. And you can look for the size you need without any problems. Any light creates comfort. It's very important. But one problem is still unresolved. We cannot use gas heaters, we cannot use a generator, and we couldn't install equipment to support at least a heating fan. I mean, that was a challenge. This is a very big financial investment. We all know perfectly well that even an LED strip has risen in price, disappeared, or is of very poor quality. We must buy batteries, we must buy chargers. Our customers and our followers know very well that they can see our products online. We've thought about it. Fortunately, COVID taught us all how to use the Internet. We have online sales, online bra fitting and also gift packaging. We've learned how to work without the Internet, how to conduct everything, how to search, how to work with the program. We are ready. The main thing is for all our people, our Ukrainians, to find in their souls that part of sunshine, joy, and share it with everybody, so that they have bright eyes, have a positive attitude. Of course, the number of customers has decreased. It's very difficult for people to come in between the sirens. Naturally, with every attack like this, some people leave, try to save their children, take them to a safe place. Some people are beginning to be pessimistic about predictions for the new year. We don't need holidays, we only need peace. But power always increases when a lot of people want the same thing. So we can't get discouraged, we can't panic, we can't get depressed. We can do everything. We are a great nation. We will cope. We even have large power banks if customers come with dead mobile phones. Of course, we don't have a possibility for everyone to come, like at Nova Poshta. But our clients can safely recharge their phones here while they're changing or trying on clothes. The first problem is how to heat and illuminate a space. Not only to make it convenient for people in the dressing room to look at themselves because you can't shine a flash flashlight on them but also how to find the dressing room. We sell small goods, there are quite a lot of them, as a result people can't see them. We immediately realized that there would be no light for a very long time and it would appear without... and it would appear with great interruptions. So we made lighting with our own hands. Thank God I have a son. Other people pay for their services, battery chain, LED strip lights, chargers... and we searched for them, they are sold neither in the markets nor in the shopping centers. We ordered them, we had to go to another city for the batteries of the required capacity. 
to calculate the power of all devices so that their capacity would be sufficient to provide power during the period of at least one to two days. So we made all the necessary calculations and assembled all the devices. We were really happy when the first LED strip appeared at least around the mirror. People were understanding. They came to us because they know us. But other shops did not manage to quickly make these decisions and purchase the needed equipment. Probably to act quickly is typical of our private entrepreneurs. There are not many people who can quickly buy something from their own funds and solve this problem. Other shop owners came to us and watched how we did it. They also began to implement this system in their stores. But this is the safest, most cost-effective way to make lighting. The third problem that we needed to solve was the working area, the cash register. A working laptop, a working lamp, how to manage a team of people, how to find a product. We have learned so much from the COVID-related experience. We have a special program, a loyalty system. Our customers have the option of choosing home delivery of any product. We also have file cabinets, like those that the doctors have. All our customers who have undergone bra fitting can order our goods. Knowing all their features, we can send them the goods even to another city or country. Of course, when the escalators run, when it's warm and there is functional general lighting, it's much more pleasant to work. We rejoice like little girls when this miracle happens. But we don't give up and we don't get depressed. Because we have all the means to make our customers feel comfortable and warm. Konstantin Bokov is the owner of a Chibureki store, Chiburechna No. 1, in central Ukraine, in Dnipro. He uses a kitchen on wheels bus to power his store and feed people with the tasty Crimean Tatar dish. We are lucky. In addition to the Chibureki store, we also have a food truck, which is a completely autonomous kitchen on wheels with a generator. And thanks to it, we are now fully operational. We cook, fry chabareki and feed our guests. So, we were ready. The only thing we did was the reconnection so that our food truck could provide electricity to our establishment. In fact, we don't have any problems. The only thing is that, of course, thanks to our Russian neighbours, electricity is turned off early and people visit less often. We've worked like this for two weeks. Our place is very popular. We offer delicious Chebereki, the best on the Dnipro coast. We do not put up a notice or a sticker that we have a point of invisibility, but anyone can come and recharge their phone. You can go to the bathroom too. And today, we started the generator. The girls went to work. We roast, steam and wait for guests. This is our bus working, a food truck. That's the generator. It gives a lot of power. It keeps our place running. We can even cook in the field. You've been watching this special project by Ukraine Media Center and Euro-Atlantic course dedicated to the Russian-Ukrainian war, Ukraine in Flames. In our pinned comment, you can find information on how you can help Ukraine fight Russian aggression. If you find our work useful, please subscribe to our channel, like and share this video. Slava Ukraini!